In today's video we are going to discuss such instruments. Which you will find in all industries. Many people have doubt that. Where are the instruments used? How are they used? So, from this video all your doubts are going to be cleared. Come let's look at these instruments one by one, guys. Let us understand by taking the example of thermal power plant. In thermal power plant, steam boiler, steam turbine, DM water plant is controlled. To control them, PLC DCS and SCADA will be used together. They control according to the program which is written on PLC DCS. This was just an example to control any machine or mill. PLC DCS and SCADA are used together. Here, PLC DCS are programmed to control these machines or mills. The next instrument is PID controller. PID controller is inbuilt in SCADA or is used separately. PID controllers maintain the parameters at the set point. By using this, the pressure, temperature, level you need is maintained at set parameters. Any parameter such as boiler steam pressure, steam drum level, Steam temperature is controlled by PID controller. The next one is indicators. They are used only for the indication of values. They are not used for controlling. So the values of temperature, pressure, level have to be only shown somewhere. Indicators will be used there. Let's move forward transmitters. Many transmitters are used but pressure transmitters, differential pressure transmitters, temperature transmitters, level transmitters all these are mostly used. They are used to measure and transmit parameters. Usually to all transmitters 24 volts DC supply is given. And, their output is 4 to 20 milliamperes. Move on to next one. Flow meters. These are used in flow measurement like. Magnetic flow meter. Mass flow meter. Turbine flow meter. Vortex flow meter. Next instrument. Temperature sensors. These are used in temperature measurement like. RTD thermocouple wherever the temperature is to be measured their rtd thermocouple has to be used the next one is ball valve there are some control valves which are only on and off this is called on off controlling there is a ball in these valves which operates to pass and stop the flow of fluid hence they are called ball valves Next is, butterfly valve. These valves are also used for, on-off controlling. These valves have a butterfly, which passes and stops the flow of fluid. Hence, they are called butterfly valves, because butterfly rotates quarter turn or 90 degrees. Therefore, these valves are also called quarter turn valves. The next instrument is pneumatic actuator. Ball valves, butterfly valves, are operated by a pneumatic actuator, which makes these valves open and close. Pneumatic actuators are operated by pneumatic signal or air signal. Next one is solenoid valve. Pneumatic actuators are operated by solenoid valves. Solenoid valve is operated by coil in solenoid valves. Single coil or double coil solenoid is used. Solenoid valves have one input and two outputs of air. 
its output air is provided to pneumatic actuators or provided in pneumatic cylinders next instrument is control valves all parameters such as temperature pressure level flow are controlled by the control valve they maintain the parameters by being open and closed to operate them the signal is given from the PID controller. These are also called final control elements. Control valves are operated according to linear signal, means 4 to 20 milliampere signal. Next is control valve positioner. These are used to position control valves according to the 4 to 20 milliampere signals. So, that was our video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, do like and share. Also, press the bell icon for more updates and uploads.